If you ever had to work with uh, GIS data in the form of contours and bring that into Civil 3D to create a surface, you understand that there's a little bit of a process that you need to go through and that, that process is you have to take the shape data um, or uh, whatever format that's in, whatever data store, whether it's ArcSDE or an Oracle file, and you have to convert them to polylines so that you could use the polylines as contour data in the surface definition. This is a little bit of a process. The easiest way is to work with the shape data. You're going to have to convert the shape to a DWG file, and then you have to run a query using the map tools inside of Civil 3D to elevate the polylines from a zero elevation to their actual elevation using the attribute data from the, the shape data um, attribute information. It's a little bit of a process, but it works quite well. Now, those of you who are using Civil 3D 2010 and have the subscription uh, advantage pack, you can, or, or the, you're on subscription and you can get the extra tools there. There's a, actually the tool I'm going to show you that is now inside of 2011 Civil 3D. You can actually do this with 2010 if you're on subscription and you have that, that uh, subscription action pack. So what I'm going to show you is how to do this in uh, 2011 Civil 3D. It's a real simple process. It's, it's real easy. I have a, a shape uh, file of contour data. So what I'm going to do is I need to create a surface from that. I don't have to import it to convert that data anymore. Actually, under the uh, main ribbon here, under surfaces, if I select that and, and uh, drop that down, you're going to see that I can create a surface from many different methods, either you know the standard way, from a DEM file, a TIN. I can use a Google Earth. But the one I want here is this create surface from GIS data. So you can see when I select on it, it's going to bring up a wizard. This wizard is going to let me step me through using this data and creating a surface. So the first thing is, what do I want to do? I want to create a surface object. I can give it a name, provide it with a description, choose a style. So if I want contours, one in five background, what layer it wants to go on, basically all the same tools that you would do when you're creating a regular surface. I'll go ahead and select next. I then get to choose what the data source is, whether it is a Arc SDE connection, Oracle connection, or shape. I happen to have shape data, so I'm going to select that. It's going to ask me to path to the shape file. So I can either um, click on this, which is going to actually take me to the folder location and find the shape file. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to pick this contour two foot shape file. I'm going to open that up. Um, it's going to also need you to log in or, or actually make a, a connection here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the, the login button. And I'm going to select the feature source or the feature class. You can see that it does uh, adhere to coordinate system. So if my drawing has a coordinate uh, system in it, you can see down at the bottom. It, mine doesn't, but if I did, I could actually convert it from meters to feet or feet to meters or whatever, or you know, UTM 20, uh, 83 to 27, 27, 83, whatever, whatever datum I need to um, convert, I can go ahead and use these tools to do that. So it knows what data the original information is and what my drawing is. So I can go ahead and uh, choose that option. I'm going to select next. And now what this allows me to do is define a query. So if this was GIS data from a countywide GIS site, we all know that that's a lot of data. And the process we would have to go through before is we would have to spend the time to convert it to a DWG file, very lengthy process, and sometimes wouldn't always work because our system might, might crash. So here what you can do is you can create a query of just your site. So you don't have to bring in and create a surface of the entire county. You can just narrow it down to a, a specified area. So you can define your query type using these tools here. I have a very small data set, so I'm not going to do that in this uh, particular example. I'm going to hit next. And now I have to map the data. So the Civil 3D property that I need is the contour information. So the contour data from the shape file is the elevation I'm looking for. So I'm going to map the elevation to that, that contour data you see here. So I'm just mapping the, the elevation attribute to the uh, Civil 3D property, which is elevation. Okay. You can save this as a file so that you can just bring this back in the next time uh, if you have a lot of data mapping going on. I'm going to select Finish. And it's going to go up. It's going to give me a panorama. It may show some errors where it looks like it has uh, possibly some, some crossing break lines. Um, 
and go ahead and close that and we'll just do a zoom extends and you'll see now I have a surface and it is a surface object civil 3d surface object that came from the GIS data that simple that right there saves a ton of time of having to have to convert going back and forth now let's take a look at the surface information and you can see if I go into the surface um, it works just like will work just like a regular surface you'll notice that it has a snapshot on it what the snapshot does is it basically creates uh, a snapshot of that data so if I send this drawing to somebody else and I don't send the shape file that was used to create the surface not a problem it's, it's actually got the information it needs in the definition of the snapshot now I can come in here and I can do edits I can add additional data so if our survey crew went out and surveyed another section we could add that as a point group um, so again you can add more data to it and, and supplement the GIS data with new data you can use the edits to swap edges um, flip faces delete contour line or triangle lines whatever whatever you need All right so it is a, a regular surface object it's in the drawing um, let's take a look at the surface properties real quick and we'll show you that snapshot you can see that it's is done to add the contour data on the definition tab here it's shown the uh, minimize flat areas and then it's got the create snapshot so if I was to come in and flip faces or, or swap edges um, add more lines or delete triangle lines add more point group data add break line data that would all show up below the snapshot and that would be part of the definition of my surface okay so very handy tool um, great improvement like I said this will work with 2010 civil 3d if you're on subscription and you have the uh, subscription action pack or and what I'm showing you here is the tool inside of civil 3d 2011 so great new feature there's a bunch of other features we'll get into um, these this feature I'm explaining here and all our other all the other features of civil 3d um, are in our civil 3d training uh, survey hydrology what have you uh, can all be found in our vbook so we have a lot more information than what you're seeing in this little a short demonstration uh, of this tool um, we've compiled hours of video into a searchable knowledge management system that can be easily accessed and, um, and found on our website um, here at APWCTS uh, or you can go to the retrieve media uh, or retrievemedia.com to get more information about other videos that we have available thank you